Uh, I'm Kevin Chapman. I am the event director at Puffco. I also deal with a lot of the glass artists to make sure they're making the custom attachments in the best way possible for our device. So, you know, I think this might be the first time I've seen a marijuana company here at Pepcom. Sure. And uh, I just wanted to talk to you about like how uh, you feel you're innovating in the marijuana consumption uh, area. Absolutely. So Puffco is the lead innovator as far as cons vaporizing concentrate. Um, we want our users to have the best experience every time. Therefore, getting rid of any other methods they were using before. We've chosen to go with the highest grade materials, whether it's the ceramics we use, the glass we use, the silicone we use, everything across the board because we want the end user to be able to appreciate their purchase. And you know, isn't it interesting that with the legalization in various states, uh -huh. how educated uh, users are becoming about strands and what they're uh, interested in and how important it is to have a high quality uh, vaporizer for that kind of purpose. It's actually a, a gift, if you will. Um, there's nothing better than the user being self-aware of what they need the device for. Um, you know, knowing that they've been wasting it and, and basically cleaning up their mess and, and making it so that their trash bin is full of their hard-earned money. That's not this device. This device here is made to get every last hit out of your oil. You can actually pass it amongst your friend if you've still got some left over. It's not like the old conventional method that becomes unfun after a while. Yeah, and you mentioned how it's uh, the taste is materially better than when you're, say, vaporizing uh, the marijuana flower, yeah. correct? Oh, absolutely. So being that it is for cannabis concentrates, concentrates are basically stripping the plant of the purest materials that you need to enjoy yourself, whether that be the THC that you need to get high, the terpenes you need to get a, a flavorful, uh, nice tasting hit, um, and it also leaves the stuff that you don't need behind, which is plant matter. That does nothing for you. Uh, it also leaves behind the CBN, which makes you sleepy, which you'll, you'll realize after a while, people that smoke a lot of weed are tired. People that vaporize cannabis concentrates, they can do that all day and kind of stay at the right level. I think that's pretty accurate, actually. You know, there's a, there's, you know, people are very educated about this sort of stuff. You know, it's interesting. There's, it's not legal in every state in America. Right. And uh, I'm, I'm curious as a company, right? Do you operate in multiple states? And what, well, how are the, what are the challenges sure. of working in, you know, within American federal law while working within state laws like? Nevada or Washington or California. Absolutely. Uh, so it does become difficult at times. Uh, Puffco, the company, actually moved from New York to Los Angeles this year uh, so that we could be in the epicenter of legal cannabis consumption. Uh, so it does become tough when you have some states that still need to offer it as a tobacco use product. Um, so yes, there are ways that we're finding we need to stay within reason and then anything else we'll kind of just go straight to the source and figure out what it takes to do it right. Don't you think this is stupid and we should just have federally legal marijuana at this point? I think that once it is federally legal we will realize how stupid we've been for not having it legal. Uh, you know, largely, no, I, really, uh, even if you're not into the drug, yep. From a tax revenue standpoint, yep. a bunch of states now have evidence, multiple years now, especially in Colorado, Absolutely. of how many billions of dollars you're making off of tax revenue. It's crazy. You know, I've been I've been going to Colorado for the 420 type of things for the last six years or so, and watching them develop something that pulls in tourists, that pulls in people from other areas that just weren't aware of the medicinal value of cannabis itself. And I'm so happy that Las Vegas is actually catching up, should I say Nevada is catching up, um, because at the end of the day, it is something that is silly that it's not fully legal. One more thing about your product. Uh, you mentioned it before we started the interview. It has uh, three settings and also a haptic feedback, right? Absolutely. So it's got actually four different temperature settings. Those range between 450 and 600 degrees. So it's always going to be a nice lower temperature to have a flavorful but still vapor-filled hit. Never going to be hot enough to release any carcinogens or anything harmful. So as you see, you would just click the button here to change the temperature settings. Uh, again, it does have haptic feedback. So every time to respond to me, it is vibrating. Once you click it twice to start your heating cycle, it will let you know that it's heating up. 
About 20 seconds later, it will vibrate in my hand three times, letting me know it's at the optimal temperature. And at that point, it's just, uh, you know, the name of the game. So how much is it and how do people go about buying it? Sure, I'm happy to answer that. Uh, they range in price. So the black one here starts at $379.99, which is about the same price as one year's worth of butane if you're an avid torch user right now. Uh, the Lightning version, which we actually just sold out of, uh, was $400. And the really cool thing about the Lightning version, it doesn't take any extra batteries to, to make it light up like that, which is a big customer concern. Why would I want to use the batteries to light it up more? I need those batteries to medicate. Well, no, this is just us knowing our product, stripping it of everything that needed to be stripped for it not to bleed through, going with transparency here, kind of creating a, a faux um, you know, microchip base there, just because what's cooler than that, really? We all love technical things. Awesome. So we have a motto at Shack News. Okay. It's do it for Shack News. <laughs> Can you tell everybody to do it for Shack News? Why wouldn't I? Do it for Shack News. Oh, yeah. <laughs>